Virgo, Virgo, welcome to my channel, Ratchet Oracle 22. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, help your girl boost her YouTube views, all that good stuff there. If any part of the message resonates with you, comment, okay? Um, I'm going to clear out the energy of Sagittarius reading, which I'm sure you will appreciate because their reading was a bit woohoo. Um, and then we're going to get into some channeling and then we're going to get into the cards. Okay, Virgos. for peace love and prosperity for all virgos now the first thing i'm getting is a song in my head um i don't even know what song it is i believe i probably saw heard the sound on tiktok give you give you all of me okay so virgos you may be feeling like you're giving your all to someone or to something and it's not giving its all back to you okay um you may feel as if you are in a situation um, I'm hearing unrequited love. So this does not have to be someone that you are romantically involved with. This could be someone that you are romantically involved with. This could be a family member that you love, a child that you love, a best friend, a group of friends, a tribe. This could be a job, okay? But I feel like you feel like the energy that you are putting out into the world is not being reciprocated, okay? Okay. So I feel like there's this energy of where you feel like you are giving way more than you receive, okay? And based on the laws of nature, energy is supposed to be an even exchange and you're not feeling that, okay? You're not feeling like the energy you give is being exchanged back to you in a profitable way, okay? So you may feel like your investments, you're in your, I feel like you're feeling like you're making poor investments, okay? Now this could be financially or this could be a metaphor for where you're choosing to invest your time, your resources, your energy, your money, okay? I feel as if for some of you, you need to switch things up. You need to make some changes because it is possible to make a bad investment, okay? You could invest in a certain stock and that stock could very well make you no money. It could drop, okay? And you could lose all of your money. So there's something there about something that you're investing in that's a bad investment, okay? And I feel like you are waking up to that this week. You are beginning to see that something is a bad investment, okay? So watch where you're in. Investment does not only have to deal with finances, okay? But just watch out, Virgo. Watch where, who you're giving your time to, where you're placing your energy, who you're investing your resources into, okay? There's just this energy of, yeah, D. I don't know why I'm getting D. D. Yeah. I don't know what I'm getting. I think that's probably something on TikTok too. D. So you could be dealing with somebody with the initial D or your initial could be D, okay? You have the five of clubs here. So yeah, Virgo, you are changing your mind about something or someone, okay? Because I feel like you're not having it. You're not having it at all. You're like, if you're not going to give me the love that I deserve, if you're not going to pour into me, the way I pour into you, then you can back up. You can go find another friend. You can go find another lover. You can go find another employee. You can find another investor, but I ain't doing it, okay? That's the five of clubs. Changing your mind or changing plans about something that at one point, Virgo, it seemed like a very good idea. At some point when you first made this investment, it was like good. Okay, I'm good. I'm going to get a return on this investment. I'm going to be good. Things ain't adding up anymore. The math is simply not mathing for you anymore, okay? 
because it, I don't know why I'm here. If five plus five equals 10, then how am I here? I don't even know what that means, okay? If five plus five equals 10, then why am I in this situation? If five plus five equals 10, which is a new beginning, because it's a one, then why am I not receiving anything new? Why am I still stuck in the past? Why am I not start, be able to start fresh, either in my relationship? Why am I not getting anything joyous, all right? Five is also the number of transformation. Yeah, you got Mars. And you also got Jupiter, okay? A lot of sacral chakra energy here because if you can look, you have a lot of orange here. All right, so a lot of sacral chakra energy. Healing your womb. Being more in tune and more in touch with your divine feminine energy regardless of what your sex is, if you are male or female. Okay, you're making some changes in your life, okay? Some of you could be doing a womb detox, or like I said, you could be just letting go of the masculine energy and deciding to get in with your feminine. Now, what does stick out to me is I picked up another deck to get two cards, and the bottom of the deck is luck, and Jupiter is luck and good fortune, as you can see. All right, so we do have a major conjunction with Mars in the full moon on the 8th because um, Mars is in Gemini, all right? So Virgo, it says, force yourself to confront a situation. <laughs> yeah, confrontations, okay? I feel like you're you're confronting someone this week. You're, you're just not having it. You're confronting someone about what they've been doing or their whereabouts or why the math ain't adding up, okay? Why you're not seeing a return on your investment, all right? Now, a lot of you have to realize that whatever you are dealing with or whatever you're going through with this poor investment, it's a blessing in disguise, all right? Jupiter energy, and then you had the luck on the bottom of the deck. It is a blessing in disguise. You are being granted a blessing, from a blessing of good fortune from a different avenue, okay? So even if, that's how life works. A lot of time we think that we'll get what we give from the person that we give it to, or we'll get what we give from whatever we are giving to. But a lot of times our blessings come back to us in mysterious ways, okay? A lot of times God will bless us in mysterious ways. And a lot of times it's someone else to bless us. God will send someone else that's not even involved in the situation to offer us a blessing, okay? And we get it confused because we feel like we want what we give from the person that we give it to. But it's usually people just like you who are givers and don't receive back from the people that you give to that attract other people who are givers, okay? And they give to you even though you may not know this person or you may have not been able to give to this person in any way. So I do feel like this is a blessing in disguise and you have a blessing coming in from another source, okay? A lot of you are in this phase of either learning or teaching, okay? And Spirit says be positive about it, okay? So some of you are having to learn a tough lesson about um, investing in things that aren't for you or making bad investments, okay? Because they cost you. They come at a heavy cost, all right? And it's a it's a huge lesson because Jupiter is ruled by Jupiter rules Sagittarius, and Sagittarius is about the lessons. Now, some of you could actually be a teacher, Virgo, um, or you could be in school. You could be thinking about going to school, or you could be a teacher. You could be a spiritual teacher, a um, modern day teacher, okay, or you could just be about teaching people lessons, okay. Or some of you, like I said, you could be thinking because this is the growth and expansion card. So I feel like you may want to increase your skills. You could be thinking about taking a class. You could be thinking about going back to school. Just becoming more skilled. All right. I feel like you want to grow and you want to expand in some way, shape, or form. Or either you're helping other people to grow and expand in some way. All right, courage card upside down. So some of you may not have, it's in reverse. Some of you may not have the strength right now to speak up 
for yourself and confront whoever this person is that you need to confront. Libra energy, possibly someone that you have a close relationship with. Number 13, okay? This could be a, a woman. 13 is the divine feminine number. All right, this could be a close friend, a sister, a mother, a co-worker, a boss. But some of you with the courage in reverse, you lack the courage to speak up and speak your mind and confront someone about something that is not right. Okay, Virgo. Or this could actually be a Libra that you are wanting, needing to confront. But the opposite of Libra is Aries, okay? And because the card in reverse, it could also be an Aries because the reversal of Libra is Aries. We also have Mars here, which rules Aries, okay? So heavy on the Aries energy, okay? Someone could be very selfish, all about themselves, while you're not like that. You're about helping other people, serving other people, being of, you know, good energy with other people. And someone is just the opposite, okay? Yeah, you got the transition card, number 11, all right? Cancer energy, dealing with maternal roots, definitely divine feminine energy, okay? Virgo, I feel like you got to get to the root of the problem, okay? I feel like you are in a transition phase of your life where you are going to realize that you got to leave certain people behind, okay? Even if it's a mother, even if it's someone you have a close bond with okay if this person is not pouring into you the way that you are pouring into them and it doesn't have to be the same thing it's not just tit for tat energy but like i said i just get that someone's very selfish and you're just doing more in the relationship in the friendship okay in the partnership you're just doing more and it's not right Yeah, four of wands. For some of you, this is definitely a relationship. And notice how that's Aries energy again. The four of wands is Aries, okay? Ruled by Aries. It's an Aries root card. So someone is definitely dealing with an Aries here. All right. But notice how you got the moon, the moon card. And I did mention this upcoming moon that we have in conjunction with mars on the eighth okay um yeah follow your intuition okay this is definitely someone that you care about and you love with the four of wands possibly someone that you're married to or someone that you're in a relationship with and maybe you want you don't want to speak up because you may feel like this person always like accuses you of starting arguments or something yeah you got the Seven of Cups and you got the Knight of Cups in reverse, okay? So follow your intuition. I feel like you're dreaming about something that needs to be revealed to you or someone that, a situation that needs to be confronted because with the Seven of Cups, okay, someone may be, not be able to fully give to you because they're giving to too many other things, okay? While you're focusing on this person and in your relationship with this person and trying to build a bond and trying to, you know, create this stable foundation for the two of you, okay, whoever this person is, this person is occupied with other things, okay, work, money, other people, friends, family, it don't matter, okay, they, they're just not focused on you, okay, the Knight of Cups in reverse, okay, this person isn't trying to give to you right now. This person isn't trying to pour into your cup. The Knight of Cups is in reverse. This person could also be a heavy drinker, okay? But this person is spreading their self too thin with too many things. And they don't have time to give to you. This person could also be a water sign, Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces, okay? For some of you. Heavy water energy in this reading and heavy Aries energy, okay? Because you have the Pisces here with the Moon card. You have Scorpio here with the Seven of Cups. And you have the Knight of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now, the opposite sign of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces is um, Earth sign, okay? Um, Capricorn, 
Taurus and Virgo, which is you. So I feel like you are someone's polar opposite, Virgo. Because that card did come out in reverse. All right, you got Eight of Wands, yes. All right, confirmation. The card literally says frustrations, feeling bound and feeling gagged. You feel like no matter what you say, someone that won't change or something doesn't change, okay? Change, all right? You feel like talking to someone is like talking to a brick wall. And that's why you're making changes in your life and you're ready to confront someone and like, hey, you could be ready to tell someone like, you either get right or get left, okay? Because I don't know what this is, yeah. Three of Pentacles in the Sun card, okay? Um, the Three of Pentacles, it literally says delays around something. Um, some of you could be going to church, or for some of you, this could have to do with someone that you're married with. The Three of Pentacles is some type of place of worship. Usually people get married in the church, okay? I do to see things getting better for you once you make a decision to clear out um negative energy and to leave people behind okay the sun card is the happiest card in the day now for some of you this could actually be your son or the sun card is ruled by leo so this could be a leo as well this could be a leo that you're married to or if you have a leo child okay or this could be someone that you have a son with yeah the hermit card it says loneliness unattached soul searching time needed or time alone some of you are just, I feel like you're in a group or you're in a family or you're in a relationship, but you don't feel like you are. You feel alone. You feel left out in the cold, okay? And it's not adding up and you want to confront someone. You want to maybe confront your family about why they treat you like an outsider. For some of you, you're the black sheep of the family, okay? You're meant, like, your solitude is going to elevate you. You are, you are meant to... Yeah, some of you, this is definitely a spouse that you're married to. But you're meant to take a different path, okay? And a lot of times when we go through an awakening, we don't realize that eventually we get to the point where we rise so far above other people that they're, we're no longer on the same level. And spirit forces us to cut ties with those people. All right? December 3rd, December 5th, and December 8th is definitely going to be significant for you as well as December 9th. Some of you could be traveling to Egypt or overseas. All right, you have per Okay, that wasn't even the first card. Wow, you took my family away from me. I don't know what that's about, okay? Virgo, someone... Someone's family could feel like if you married someone and you don't get along with their family, they could feel like their per their family member is not the same ever since they've been with you. Okay. Someone's favorite color could be purple. Kodak, okay. I don't know why I just thought of that song, um, Gremlin. I knew them perks was fake, but I still ate it, but I'm a grilling. Gremlin, okay. It's about being betrayed. Someone could be involved with the same sex. Think like a man. All right, Kevin Hart. I feel like you, if you are a divine feminine, okay, you like, I'll show you how it's done. I don't know what this is, okay. Um, I'm gonna do five more. I don't know why some of the cards sticking together. Oh, he is not the father. I don't know what this is, okay? Because you do got the sun card here as well. Okay, so someone could have you got the seven of cups with somebody dealing with multiple people. I don't know. What, okay, this is getting a bit messy, Virgo, but some of y'all could be like someone could be accusing your person of being the father of their child and they're not okay follow your dreams okay with this moon card follow your dreams they're gonna tell you everything you need to know we all experience the world in different ways through different ex we all experience the world in different ways through different eyes and experiences Happiness can be found right where you are. Two more. Pretty on fleek. Ru 
rule number one. So what's your rule number one, Virgo? Okay, never cross me. That's what I'm hearing. Never bite the hand that feeds you. All right, Virgo, so that is what I have for you for this week. Peace.